Thousands of protesters gathered outside the Democratic National Convention in Chicago to demonstrate against the Biden administration's position on Israel. Protesters held their march at Union Park in a show of pro-Palestinian solidarity, calling for an end to U.S. funding to Israel. Organizers of those two protests have spent weeks wrangling with city attorneys over permits. A crowd of close to 3,000 people from more than 270 different organizations came together to form the coalition to protest. Chicago police formed a perimeter around the park on foot to contain protesters, with some police personnel on bikes. After hours of peaceful demonstrations, dozens of protesters broke through part of the perimeter security fence, drawing riot police to the site, a Reuters witness said. It initially appeared the first breach had been secured, but another fence was taken down soon afterward. At least four people were arrested, but no protesters got beyond the outer perimeter of the secure zone. The Democratic National Convention security team did not respond to a request for comment on whether the protesters were arrested. Law enforcement personnel are currently on scene and more information will be provided when available, said a Chicago City spokesperson. Demonstrations are expected every day of the convention and, while their agendas vary, many activists agree an immediate ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war is the priority. Pro-Palestinian activists say Harris has been more sympathetic to people in Gaza than Biden has been. Her national security adviser said on X this month that she does not support an arms embargo on Israel. After meeting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu last month, Harris told reporters not only that Israel had a right to defend itself but also in reference to Gaza, we cannot allow ourselves to become numb to the suffering and I will not be silent.
lot with the with the division top of the match. Yeah. 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 